Before submitting your film for screenings, you want to make sure that your audio mix is hitting the correct peak and loudness specifications. These specifications that you see here are also outlined in the screenings requirements documentation. Your audio mix must be below negative 3 decibels peak and must also have an average loudness of negative 27 LKFS or LUFS. This measurement looks at the mix as a whole to determine the overall loudness of your film. I'm going to show you how you can check to make sure your film's audio mix is meeting these specifications before submitting your film for screenings. In Adobe Premiere, you can import your final exported film into the project and then also in the timeline. If you are already working on your film in Premiere, you can follow these same steps as well. To monitor your peak dB to make sure it never goes above negative 3, you can take a look at the meters over here. You want to make sure that you're watching your film all the way through and taking a look to make sure these meters are never reaching above that negative 3 mark. To measure the overall loudness of your film, we need to set up a loudness meter. In order to do that, you need to pull up your audio track mixer. To do that, you want to go to the window tab and click on this button here, audio track mixer. That's going to bring up this uh, window here. This window shows meters for all of the audio tracks that you have in your timeline. I have audio 1, 2, and 3 with tracks 1, 2, and 3. And it also gives you a master meter which all of these audio tracks actually flow into. This master meter shows you the overall levels for your entire track. And that's what these meters are measuring over here. In order to measure the loudness, we actually want to attach something to this master fader. So you're going to do that by twirling down this little carrot here. You've seen that I've just put something here. I'm going to show you how to add that in. So you can, under this small drop down here, go under special and go to loudness radar. And then you have now applied that meter to your master track. In order to open that meter, go ahead and click this button that says loudness radar. In order for this to work, you actually have to set up a few quick settings in here. First, under presets, you want to make sure you're going to cinema. And then under the settings tab, you want to set your target loudness to be negative 27. And you want to set your peak indicator to be negative 3. Once you've done that, your meter is now set up. In order to measure the loudness of your film, you want to keep an eye on this meter throughout the entirety of your film as it plays in the timeline. So I'm going to play it here. The visual meter will show you the loudness at any given moment up on this meter here. And it should stay near negative 27 within plus or minus two of that measurement. Once you've watched through the entire film, the number at the bottom right corner will give you the overall integrated loudness measurement of your audio mix. This number also needs to be within spec of minus 27 LKFS plus or minus 2. You can also check these measurements in DCP-O-Matic. To do that, you want to open DCP-O-Matic and add your film to the project. Once you do that and click on your film, under the Audio tab, you can click this button, Show Graph of Audio Levels. It will do a quick scan, and it will give you information about the true peak, or the peak dB, of your film, and the integrated loudness of your entire mix as well. As you can see, this film that I have does not meet these specifications. It is way over negative 3 dB peak, and it is not around the negative 27 target of the loudness measurement. So this film would not be correctly formatted or mixed for screenings. So I would want to make sure that I correct my audio mix in order to submit that. If you meet both of these requirements for your audio mix, as well as other requirements for the image and file format, then your film will pass the quality control and you can be accepted for screenings. Otherwise, you will have to submit a new version before the screenings deadline. If a corrected version is not submitted, your film will play with an audio reduction to protect the viewers and the theater sound system, or it may not be accepted to play at all. If you have any questions, please take a look at the documentation on Favasa's website or email Favasa directly at favasa.rit.edu.